my main goal is to to do it right and to get it, you know, to get the um, to be accurate, and not forget anything. It's very exciting to be put in this position. I mean, we're being entrusted to capture the city's history. It started at the library with Lisa, Lisa Cote, and she sent out a little notice. History Press had contacted her, and she sent an email to me and probably other writers, and Warren and I decided we would, we would attempt to get the contract. Just individual people all over town were, were emailing and calling and, and giving us leads as well as sharing their own stories. Some of them didn't, didn't come through, we didn't, weren't able to prove certain things, but it was still fun to investigate. Friends being able to look through um, old history books that have already been written, being able to do that research and finding that already existing information and being able to crystallize it into something new. Now one thing we're doing is uh, we're beginning our book with uh, the legend that uh, Hernando de Soto came here and discovered the springs and thought they were the fountain of youth. Chronologically, that's not the first thing that we, um, that's discussed in our book. The Tocobaga were here many centuries before de Soto, but we wanted to begin with something that really captured people's imagination to make them want to read more. Sorry, we mapped it all out about Two, three weeks ago, we finally were at a point where we could map it out on a big poster board and write down the chapters and, and what he's already done and what I was working on. And we had little post-it notes and where we wanted the pictures to go. And that, that's all going to be shuffled around. It has been already. But There was one chapter we were both writing and we came to blows. Uh, we did. <laughs> <laughs> With every interview, you sense when part of their story is really special. And that happened, I'd say, with every interview we had. For a couple, I interviewed for maybe an hour, and I only used one line out of the whole, the whole hour. But that line was that, the part that gets you. But the feeling that they gave us about what it was like to grow up here, what the town was like, that's throughout the whole book. It's almost like a puzzle. Uh, you have different pieces of information from different sources and you have to find a way to stick it together so that it makes sense. It takes a lot of effort and what, what I end up doing is taking a lot of notes while I'm reading. And so as I've been reading through them, I've just been writing down sentences, even just direct quotes, um, as um, things that I just want to remember. And then when I'm finished looking through all the books and I have like 15 pages of notes and I just simply rearrange them so I can group uh, information by subject from different sources and then I somehow put it together. A lot of people have said they just don't enjoy reading history. They enjoy history, but they don't enjoy reading it. We want this to be something that people actually enjoy reading. What really interests people is reading about other people. You know, if you show your manuscript to your family, they're proud of you. They're going to say, awesome job, but you bring it to your writer's group and they are going to give you the gift of honesty and they'll show you the improvements that you can't see, the way it could be, and that's what they did for us. Yeah, they help with flow, and they help us identify those places where we're losing their attention, uh, yeah. which is important for us. The museum's been amazing. They've been such a help. Um, they, they let me take some boxes home with just papers in them, uh, folders and papers to go through, and one had a folder, just this little manila envelope with info on the Safety Harbor Cemetery, which is where the African American community buried their loved ones, their dead. It's sad because this cemetery is, is uh, it's overgrown with weeds. There are some of the markers have disappeared. Some are cracked. Some are unreadable. Um, but what I'd like to see from this research is something like that to you know, to, to bring it to people's attention so that we can preserve it and help again. I think that the, the most surprising thing is just how vibrant the city's history really yeah. is. You think about it, for a town, really a small, it's, it's not really a city, it's really like a, a, an average-sized small town. That's true. 
the history spanning the centuries is just so rich. It would seem to come from a much bigger place. We're learning constantly as we're doing this project and that it's always surprising. I mean, always surprising to find out how strong this community has always been and how much has happened here.